Welcome back to Studio 5. We're getting the story behind Honor Flight, a film chronicling the ongoing mission to fly thousands of World War II veterans to Washington, D.C. so that they can see the World War II more memorial personally. We've been talking to the movie's director, Dan Hayes. Dan, thanks again for being here. There are four fellows in particular that you follow throughout this film. Tell us a little bit about them. Sure, yeah, absolutely. We follow four uh, really amazing uh, men who have been an inspiration to me, just getting to know them. Uh, one of them's name is Harvey Kurz, and Harvey uh, is actually a grocery store bagger in Port Washington, Wisconsin, and it's hilarious. He basically is bagging groceries, interacting with people, very outgoing guy, um, but he served on Iwo Jima, and he saw... A lot of you know horrible stuff in his service there, and um, you know this movie for Harvey has been amazing to see the reaction. He's become a celebrity. He's on local mm -hmm. news all the time. All the people in the community know him. Um, so it's been really a good opportunity for Harvey to kind of uh, get to know this. The the other guy who who a lot of viewers may actually recognize is a guy by the name of Joe Demler. Um, his nickname is actually the Human Skeleton. Mm -hmm. uh, he was captured in 1945. Uh, he was a POW. Uh, and he almost starved to death. He was about 75 pounds uh, upon his liberation from a Nazi prison camp, and he's famously pictured in Life magazine uh, as the human skeleton. And um, he coined a phrase, uh, every day is a bonus uh, after, after that, and uh, it really has become the theme for this Milwaukee uh, chapter of Honor Flight that we followed in the film, but Joe is just an incredible and inspirational uh, guy, so it was awesome to get to know these guys. 